Today we're gonna to be talking about a very simple tool to uh, make your life a little easier when identifying problem frets on your guitar. It is the fret rocker. Sometimes it's called a fret checker. You can find these on eBay. You can find them at stumac.com or Philadelphia Luthier Tools. Very simple device, but it just allows you to make sure you don't have any high or low frets. All right, so we're gonna start with the wide angle of one of our guitar necks here. This one just had the frets pressed in, so we're gonna show you very quickly how this fret rock rocker works and how to identify those problem fret areas. So again, we just press these with an arbor press. We're hoping that they are fairly level. We're pretty confident and it's not perfect all the way across, and we're gonna have to do a fret level on this guitar, but we wanna make sure that we know the areas that potentially will be giving us problems. If you're using a brand new guitar or a a guitar you've had for a while, you probably know where there's some fret issues with it, but this helps you really isolate it down to the exact area or specific fret that you have a problem with. Now, if, if your neck is all over the place, you're gonna have to do a full fret level, hopefully not a refret, but sometimes frets will pop up and you have bigger issues, but this identifies the small issues, uh, some of the bigger issues as well, but really the fine, the fine issues that may cause um, problems with bending or sliding around or buzzing with notes. And we all have guitars that have done that in the past. So this is gonna cover a span of three frets. So we're gonna to wanna to use three frets so we can recreate a rocking motion. If there's not a high fret, this will not, it will not move, it will not budge. If there is a high fret, we will get kind of a rocking motion. We'll hear kind of a little click as it is not sitting perfectly even across three frets. We're gonna go down the neck. We're gonna check every three frets as we go. And as, as we go down, we're gonna turn this to make sure that we're only covering three frets. As our length between the frets gets shorter and shorter, we're gonna to wanna to turn this to allow us to hit only three frets and no more. We don't really wanna hit two because we're not gonna be able to, to tell if one is higher than, than another. We're using that three as kind of our reference. So we're checking here. We're gonna check a couple spots on this. I'm gonna move it down. Right now, as I try to rock it, there's no issues. Same thing, usually you check this in three or four spots, because you may have an issue where one end of a fret is higher, so you wanna make sure you can identify that. So we move down. So far, so good. No issues with rocking. Now we're getting close to here, see how we cover four frets. We're gonna to need to rotate this, so we're only covering three, so we're using the second the second longest dimension of this. And again, we're still going through here without too many issues. That's a good sign so far. That means our, our pressing was very good. Our slots were good when we built this neck. It's gonna actually also mean that we have a lot less time involved in the fret leveling as we get to that step. Starting to feel a little bit of rock here. If you can pick that up on the camera, you can see it moving a little bit, but there is an issue kind of over here now, so we identified maybe within a couple of these frets that there's a uh, potential issue. You can do a little mark on the fret that you identify as the problem fret, but we'll keep going. We know there's some, th some stuff going on here. Now again, as we get more narrow on the frets, we're gonna wanna flip this again. I'm getting down here around the 12th fret, in between the 10th and the 12th fret getting a little bit of rock there. So we know I have some issue spots right in here, and we, we also had some in here. So I'm starting to now see some, some inconsistencies in the height of the frets, and this is inevitable because they're not all gonna be completely perfect, but we're really happy with this area up here, but we now are starting to find some issues here, and we may have to take the whole fret board down or the whole fret level job down to make sure that we can, we can have them playing perfectly all across the board. So as we move up here into the higher frets, we're still able to cover three on this edge. Getting a little bit more rock here around the, around the 15th, 16th fret. Starting to get pretty narrow down at the back, so I'll pull this down a little bit so you can see it better. We'll switch over to the smallest dimension of the fret rocker, continue that rocking until that goes away. I'm just getting some, getting some rocking here towards the end. Looks like we've got kind of a low fret here in the last three frets. Yeah, I can feel that there. So now we, we've identified some areas here and here and here. So we've got now sort of a roadmap to look for when we're leveling frets. Now you can try spot leveling 
Uh, if you've got just one area that's like a little bit higher, you might be able to get away with spot leveling and bringing that high spot down to the rest of the frets. If you've got some high and low frets, you're gonna have to do a lot more work than just a spot level. But this will help you identify some of that. All right, thanks so much for watching. That's just a couple quick ways to check your frets with that fret rocker. There's also other ways to check your frets and we'll go over those in future videos. Hopefully that's helpful for you and take a little bit of the mystery out about where you might have problems with your guitar.